Welcome to episode 8 of Official Small Tribes. So, we were gonna start this new day with a boss fight, and Moin 1, the Moin's old tribe, just attacked our Cliff Plat transmitter. But I see a Giga at the Blue Obelisk. So, let's have some PvP. I am terrible at this, you know that, but a redeeming thing I don't have a shadow stake, so my cursor moves like crazy. And I think this is pointless. I can't shoot. I'm gonna use my Rhino. He's long gone. I was not quick enough to catch that Giga. I guess they were gonna do a boss fight as well. Then they saw our spam and went after our transmitter in the snow. Now Raz was on the mana and he is dead. So the Giga Rider is not alone. Alright, here is the other guy. Let me use my terrible PvP skills. I can't plant Z the Giga, it's too far and too high. Now I have a chance, I'm back on my Rhino, but it's not raging the Giga. I think I needed to charge the Rhino, but it all happened so fast, my Rhino died too quickly. So without the charge, the damage is not enough. And this is the transmitter cliff plant, very recently got raided by the Moin ally. I think they got 5 or 6 tribes on this server working together. Now, even though we lost the PvP at Blue Abbey, finally the Moin is talking and they're ordering me to remove the spam on the Blue Obelisk. But for what? Listen to these steer watchers. They want me to remove my structures on the Blue Obelisk, but what do they offer in return? Nothing. So immediately after that, they raided our mid-sized underwater base. It was abandoned. I don't even know if we were adding elements to keep this base running. Probably not. And this tells me that Moi definitely don't know about our base spot. If they are not at our base right now, they are not aware of it. Not yet anyway. So we're gonna keep fighting them. I mean it's not really a fight, but I'll do my best to annoy them. And I'll keep spamming the blue obelisk. Remove the spam yourself, Moin. Well, they might have gigas, but I have basilos. I came here to took some of their bullets avenging my transmitter structures. Also, I went out to remove some of their spam. Don't think this is useless. The pikes are cheap, but spending time placing them is valuable. Anyway, I stayed here for a while removing their spam, but let's not make this episode too boring to watch and move on. All right, this is our Akatina farm. They are not on wandering and they do not produce paste in their inventories, but they passively drop them and my gachas collect them in this floor. They kinda drop down to this floor and gachas just take them. The new structures for rebuilding our second base is finally ready. And now we're on 79 to rebuild our second underwater base. I have some vacuum compartments left intact, so it's gonna be an easy rebuild. The same spot, the same thing, but this server is friendly and the alpha tribes here gave us their permission to build and live here. So with how strong my base spot is, I don't think it's gonna get raided anytime soon. I think this spot cannot be raided unless they build a farm and bring a lot of stuff. And underwater farms are not cheap and not that easy to build. I think this is many times stronger than anywhere outside, except caves of course. It's done, the rebuild is finished. And we're back in business. Our second base is alive. 
but this time we're building the defenses right. We can't trust the hiddenness of this base anymore. It's not that hidden apparently. Vortex turret ammo. We tried to craft the shards in our inventory and it did not go well. I couldn't imagine how slow this is. It's super slow. We need a replicator here to fill our tech turrets. Heavy turrets are all right. We brought a lot of ARBs from the main base. So this is how we are leaving this base tonight. Hope it survives the night. I was about to leave and the two alpha tribes turned up in my base just right over there. I had no idea how crowded this place can get. Imagine thinking this place to be hidden but Moin still don't know about it. And their lack of awareness kinda cloud my judgment. No, yeah, I don't, I don't mind it right there. Alright, we got the confirmation from both alphas. This server is pretty promising for our future. And this is the main base on 82. It looks really good to me. Alright, we are not drowned, so another night has been survived. Let's see if we lost any bullets. Looks good. Everything looks good. Now, the server 79. Let's see if we lost any here. Good, these turrets look good as well. So, this is my favorite thing in ARC. AFK farming a Katina paste. Thanks to my gachas and my snails. I farm paste in my base. Alright, we are intact today too. Welcome to a bright new day underwater. There is actually sun movement in this underground ocean. It's little annoying honestly. The sunlight should not affect anything here maybe only at the entrances. So just because I live in an underwater tech base doesn't mean I'm gonna forget about one of my first tribe mates, right? So I got this guy geared up with a PvP kit and some tapes so he can run around and have some fun. We're back on 79. We're gonna do a boss fight. I think this is our first boss fight on this server. With the element we're gonna get here, we will craft a replicator and element charts for the tech turrets. We were missing some black pearls, we're here to collect it. And also, I'm showing the tribe maze this spot for black pearls. It's close to our base location and you can just sieve them out, collect them and get back. Alright, everything is ready for the replicator. I think this is patched again, so you can't craft a tech replicator in a fabricator anymore. I think devs thought it was little OP. Moin and their alt tribes keep scouting the snowlands and they are keep attacking our transmitters. So I decided to build one here. It's near our old mountain base. It's a little cracked, so I'm hoping it stays hidden while we farm outside. Now I started to work on the cage in server 79. It's cheap and easy but adds so much defensive advantage. Very well, another day passed without any attacks. I have no idea how Moin keeps their servers. They couldn't find us all this time. Akatina paste farm is going non-stop. At this point, I figured out you can stop the eating animation of gachas and they keep collecting paste with enough akatinas nearby. Snails don't produce paste in their inventory because wandering is off. But their passive paste droppings are huge. This is like unlimited paste easy. You just need cakes for them. So one of my tribe mates find a guy who trades baby gigas just for a few thousand ARBs. We're gonna get a breeding pair of giga babies. I don't think it's a fair price but the guy just wants to prove his honesty I think so he is making cheap deals 3k bullets for 2 bread giga baby that's pretty cheap for us all right we're back in our base we will raise the gigas here our new flag looks pretty good hardcore pvp players get their flag like the first thing ever but we do it in a tech base after months of surviving all right so i think i heard about the underwater caves on the island having a lot of alpha creatures so that's why i have come here to get some xp for my chibi i'm just gonna use my good bastard to farm the alpha
Alright, what's going on? Am I getting attacked for real? No, it was a wild baryonyx. How crazy is that? I just got here. Didn't stop for anything, but I got caught. Ark is just insane sometimes. I'm getting PvE so bad here. Good thing I have a strong flag set, so I can survive in this. But I am in a stun lock. It keeps stunning me. Unbelievable. This is just so bad. The baryonyx is OP, even the wild one. I just can't move away. Finally, yes, he got bored. I'm out. I got away. That stun lock was crazy. Wow, the island, dear watchers. I got attacked by a leech now. But let's kill that baryonyx to get my revenge. Then I'll remove the leech. It's not doing too much damage anyway. Before I dive in into the caves, an alpha Maglodon got himself stuck in the shore. So I popped my mana to kill it quickly. Alright, we're going in, but this is pretty pointless content. That's why I'm gonna cut it to the alpha killings. At this deep, Basilo takes damage, and it made me so happy that in Valgero, Basilos don't take any deep water damage. That would have been very unfortunate for our base spot. Two Alpha Megalodons, and they're kinda hurting my Basilo. One is gone, and that's why my Basilo took a lot of damage. Look at that, 190 Alpha Megalodon, that's a high level. And the other one is gone as well, but I had to turn off recording, it was taking too long. And my chibi got more than 100,000 XP, so that's great. I'm not sure about other maps, but so far this underwater cave in the island is the best place to farm experience for your chibis. If you can get a good melee too so, you can easily max out your chibi here. People say OSTs on extinction is great, but I don't have the exact numbers. While we are here, we checked some drops but we got nothing great we got another flat bp but our master craft chest is still the best one it's a little expensive though and our gigas exceeded the 10 percent mark we can relax now after this it's easy to raise them up i assume they are capped now on small tries but back then 151 melee was pretty decent also the basilio army keeps getting bigger Now, this is center, and I bought a boss seat in the center boss fight with some heavies. I'm gonna join some people's fight with my wheelo and get the tech turret tech ram unlocked. Alright, I got the tech turret tech ram unlocked, very nice. So tribe mates raided some more farmer bobs in this cave, but I missed the fun. They had a teleporter here with some turrets. I just catched the end of the raid, tribe mates were wiping them out. There you go, the gigas are almost done. And this is their egg. We raised them and we made it them. Now we can have an imprinted giga. I want to add dedicated storages to our second base, but I want to craft them. I don't want to trade for them. So that's why we're gonna kill a desert titan.
dedicated storage tagram is unlocked. Now we just need the elements. That's why we're gonna do a Walgera boss fight. But this time, it's gonna be the Alpha. I think it's our first time trying to kill the Alpha Walgero. But no worries, we are ready. We have fully imprinted dinos. And we got cakes and everything else we need. Nicely done. We got the Manticore element too. Now, this is 520 elements. That number is pretty good. Let's get back to our second base. Alright, I'm here. Is this the main base or the second base? Take a look at this wall. It's really thick and strong. We did a good job this time. So, crafting station of second underwater base with dedicated storages is done. Now look at this kid, a big prophet. My tribe made Raz, took down someone, and he brought a big prophet to the base. We're gonna use that racer in a bit. Now this is a good red racer with 151,000 HP. It's gonna soak a lot of bullets. So what do we have here? This is Moin's teleporter. And just right over there, their farmer bobs have a teleporter as well. They are like right next to each other. Imagine that. Tribe of Smiley Faces Teleporter. You see this, they don't even care. This is how small tribes works. Don't be fooled by the name. It's same as regular official PvP. No small tribe can survive in this cluster. But today, we're gonna give them a surprise. The Moin is over there and their alt tribe is just right under where we are standing. I guess it's easier to transfer farm like this. We're just gonna heal our racer and drop down to Moin farmers. They are online, so we're just gonna raid their allies. Alright, Raz is gonna jump and soak the turrets. So Raz managed to fall behind their replicator and their turrets are not shooting. He could get out and play some C4s but the thing is I think he forgot to take any C4 with him. He's just gonna have to destroy the replicator to soak the bullets. Alright, the racer is soaking the bullets. Now we have soaked enough bullets so I can fly down and play some C4s. Let's drop this cliff plat. I placed 30 C4, so that should be enough, right? Let's see what's left of the cliff plat. Well, this doesn't look like a 30 C4 damage. I guess it's bugged out. Let's try again. Oh, I gotta be careful. It's not all soaked. Alright, element is out of the tech jenny. It's gonna run out soon, but I think I'm just gonna keep placing more C4s and drop this cliff plant.
Good. C4 finally worked properly. The cliff plat has fallen. There is few bags left. I'm gonna grapple to them and collect the bullets. And you can watch my grappling hook skills. Alright, few hundred ARBs. And that wraps up this trade. We are done here. Giga eggs, look at that, this is power. You can't play this game without gigas. Pocket gigas are so powerful, there are no match for them. Now, the female bacillos are mating again. More bacillo babies are on their way. But we're gonna skip past all that. Alright, we're gonna do another alpha boss for our main base. 520 element is gonna be really nice. Now, I have a tech suit. I feel like the game is over. I have two tech bases, full of everything. I kill bosses. I don't get raided. What to do now? Alright, dear watchers, this is the end for this episode, of course. We're gonna do some other things in the next episode. Until then, thank you for watching. See you on the next episode. Before you move on to the next one, I appreciate if you subscribe.